Good afternoon all. I'm playing with uh, GPS again. I've got my little module here, my GPS antenna on the top, and the little uh, U-Blox Neo 7M module on the bottom. We've got a red light on there, and we've got a little flashing green light there up on the top left. Anyway, that's mounted on the dustbin, and uh, that's just outside my workshop window. Now I've managed to uh, bodge up a piece of ribbon cable so that runs all the way back uh, through the workshop window and onto the little USB to serial adapter so the full arrangement is the dustbin there, the workshop window and then if we look up the house is blocking the sort of northern side but we're fairly open on the uh, southern side particularly to the west, my neighbour's house is there so that's kind of blocking uh, to the south but a reasonably good view of the sky so let's see what we've got on the computer so here's that ribbon cable coming through the window it goes down to a sort of fudged up bit of connectory stuff there into the uh, USB to serial converter and into my PC and uh, on the uh, Ublox U Center I've got this Lots of good quality satellite data coming in, uh, good high levels of uh, dBs, decibels, and some real live longitude and latitude numbers. Now you can see longitude is uh, zero degrees minus, because I'm ever so slightly west of London, latitude is 51 degrees north, uh, we're way up... Uh, <laughs> in terms of latitude, which is why it's so cold and miserable here. Now I've got the standard set of NMEA messages coming in, um, but I've also switched on uh, this one. It's in UBX Navigation and it's the SV Info, Satellite Info. And uh, that's giving me this live data table showing uh, the satellites on the various channels here. And I've got a uh, good strong data coming from G1, G3, G4, uh, G11. We've got a yes at the moment. This is the quality level. Uh, seven is the highest, six. Uh, then four is, I think it's seeing data, but it can't do much with it. And the ones here, which are red, are uh, not even connected. I don't think it's receiving anything from them at all. Uh, this gives you the elevation and the azimuth of the satellites, uh, both in degrees, I guess they are. And this shows you whether we're getting almanac data or ephemeris data. And this is a health indicator. to show. Now let's take a look at another view of the satellites, which is this one. It's the sky view. And this shows you uh, the satellites, which are these red uh, things here and the green ones here. Now you can see that um, I've got green satellites here overhead. This is right overhead in the center of the circle. And then towards the edges of the circle are the horizon. So on the north side, which is where my house is, we've got satellites low down on the horizon. We're not really receiving, we've got a little bit coming in from G6, but G12, G14 and G31, we're not getting any useful data from. Um, this is the south side, so this is where my neighbour's house is. Again, these satellites low on the horizon are being blocked. I'm in what they call an urban canyon. But I've got enough satellites directly overhead the module, giving us good data that we're getting uh, proper longitude and latitude fix. Now, if I turn off these coloured squares, which I can't remember exactly what they are, you can see the satellites have got these little squiggly lines and that shows the track that that satellite has taken. It's been green all the way so it's good strong information. This one here is a mixture of red and blue so it's coming and going. It's green at the moment, now it's red. So this shows you that it's uh, been good and then been bad. But that's the track it's taken. So these satellites all move. I thought these were all in geostationary orbit but it does appear that they all move around in the sky. Interesting stuff. Okay, so let's go for the ultimate view in this uh, U-Center application. 
which is the Google Earth view. That takes a little while to load up, so let's just wait for that. Uh, there we are. That should zoom into my location. And uh, there we are, that's my location, that green dot in the middle of High Wycombe Town Centre. Uh, that's Cressex Industrial Estate. This is the M40 motorway running along here. Let's just zoom in to see exactly where I am. Well now that's strange because I appear to be in the middle of a roundabout. Now, of course, I'm not in the middle of a roundabout in High Wycombe Town Centre. I'm uh, somewhere else, but I've moved the datum points. Uh, I've put in some datum offsets to make it look as if I'm in the middle of a roundabout in High Wycombe Town Centre. But uh, this way I can uh, show live GPS latitude and longitude data without worrying about giving my, away my exact location. But I'm just interested to uh, zoom in and see how much deviation there is in the uh, reported position and there is a small amount of movement it's fairly tightly clustered at the moment I did have it earlier where it was swinging around quite wildly but you can see that because of not movement in my GPS module because of course that's not moving it's on the dustbin outside but uh, because of movements of the satellites themselves we're getting little changes in the reported position of uh, where precisely my module is and this I suppose goes to explain why sometimes quadcopters that have GPS modules tend to wander about because the location reported by the module is constantly changing a little bit. Now I've just temporarily removed the datum offset so I'm now using the true datum and oi What's going on here? It's showing uh, my GPS module location, which is actually down here in this black area at the bottom, just to the south side of my house here. This is actually my real house. It's not on the roof there. So the satellites are giving slightly erroneous data for uh, where the module is. It was good a few minutes ago down here. I'm actually down in this dark area. This uh, green bit of fuzzy hedge here is actually, if I just open the blinds, that hedge just out the wind, outside the window there. So uh, the uh, movement of the satellites, it would seem, seem gives rise to uh, this movement in the GPS fix, even though the module, of course, is stationary. Right, I've just put myself back into the middle of the uh, roundabout in High Wycombe town centre. In incidentally, if you're interested, that's the university and I think that's the hospital. Um, this is so that I can show live GPS data without worrying about my exact position being revealed. So let's go back to the uh, sky view and I'm just going to go outside a minute. Let me just turn off the uh, those things and I'm going to put the uh, GPS module right on my windowsill, which will effectively block the whole of this northern region. I just want to see if these northern satellites uh, disappear out of the the set that we're getting good data from. So I'm going to grab this module and uh, actually put it on the windowsill here so it's right up against the house so now it can really only see out to the south side so let's see what the effect of that is. Well it doesn't seem to have had uh, a huge effect still getting a, a load of good satellite data coming in up here and in the sky view. I mean the bulk of the satellites yes are in the southern quadrant here um, but there are two here that are high up but uh, certainly in that northern quadrant which is where my house is relative to the module. Now maybe that's these are in the southern quadrant because well that's where they just are. Um, all these ones low on the horizon of course I can't see because my module is uh, low down and it's not getting a, a horizontal view. So uh, what I'm going to do now is a cold boot this thing up here. Now that will lose all the ephemeris data, effectively make the whole thing start from scratch. You can see that that's completely vanished. Uh, I'm not even sure that this table is live anymore. Let me just uh, click the update on it. 
So yes, that table has now uh, completely emptied. We're in the early stages of uh, booting. We're getting satellite data coming through, but I don't think we've got a fix yet. Uh, what's that number there? So this table's bobbing around. We're getting some good satellite data here. There's a quality of six there, seven on satellite G11. Let's just put the sky view back up. And uh, nothing on there as yet. So let's just leave this for a while and uh, see how quickly this data builds back up. Well now it's had around 30 seconds and this is supposed to uh, build up the uh, data and get a fix within 30 seconds. Uh, currently we're still showing no fix here. And it might be because the module is right up against the house. Uh, so I'm going to move it back out onto the dustbin. Ah, now we've started to get some uh, green satellites. Ah, it is actually starting to come in now. Got a green satellite here. Let's bring the sky view back up. Yes, we've now got data and uh, we've got a 2D fix. But um, the usable satellites are very much in this southern quadrant which is uh, sort of pointing out the window. So I will go and move the GPS unit back onto the dustbin so it's in the middle of the gap outside and see if these northern satellites start to reappear. Certainly G32 I would have thought should be useful. Right, well I've moved the module back out onto the top of the dustbin. It doesn't seem to have had an immediate effect. I'm still only seeing satellites in the southern hemisphere on the sky view. Uh, let me just check that I'm still in the middle of the roundabout in High Wycombe Town Centre. Yes, I am. But I am getting enough satellite data to get uh, a live 3D fix there. And uh, my longitude, latitude and altitude are all coming in live. So I've got to say that I'm totally hooked on this U-Centre program now. I've done nothing else for about the last... 24 hours. It's just amazing fun. But what I really need to uh, focus on now is getting my Arduino to uh, pick the latitude and longitude information either out of these NMEA messages or out of the uh, UBX binary data that's coming out of this module and then feed it into my little Nokia 5110 LCD. Cheerio.